My body has one of these plugs that you plug into the cigarette lighter. And his has two sides to it. And they're identical. They're uh, male, male. And we discuss what to do. So he has two deep cycle marine batteries. And for decades, I would keep my marine batteries plugged into the cigarette lighter. Every time I moved the van, they'd be charging up the batteries. Now, I had a female, female like this, sitting on the battery. And so I could just plug... I could just plug the male male into the into the into the plug but but if you don't want to connect a female plug to this like I showed you then all you gotta do is cut you cut this off keeping the one with the fuse to protect your line Put a voltmeter on it and connect the negative terminal to the negative and the positive to, uh, to the positive where the, your, the little screw is. And then every time you move the van, all you do is plug this in into the cigarette lighter and then you're automatically charging up the batteries. And I would tend to put... Uh, water bottle on it and when you charging you slide the water bottle down and you plug it into the cigarette lighter when you're not you just slide the water bottle out and it protects this from from touching anything because it's hot it's always hot from this the nice thing about me connecting a female to the battery was that only the female only the female was connected to the battery and so I didn't have to worry about that but putting a little a little water a little water bottle isn't isn't a big deal on it and this way you, there'd be no touching of these leads against anything when you when you have it unplugged from the cigarette lighter and my last deep cycle battery I kept this way alive for eight to ten years always tar charging it up when I moved the van and I had no problem she was always charged a couple thing is when when you're charging up the battery and you have this little fuse on it then you should not have any load on the battery like you shouldn't have the refrigerator connected and running at the time or otherwise you could have a refrigerator kicks on and ask for more power than the fuse could give and it would burn out your fuse and uh, I would stay with the fuse rating that they have on your cable because every cable is different and every cable should have its own type of fuse on it that's that's another way of connecting it, two ways really, of connecting uh, a cigarette lighter to, to the battery. And the only thing is every time you move the van, you plug it in. That's the only thing.